Amen. Hallelujah. Bless God. Well, glory to God. Well, I want to welcome you here to Dominion Life Worship Center and Faith in Christ Network. Amen. On a Wednesday evening Bible study. Amen. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. 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 Amen. We want you to feel welcome here. Amen. And welcome as you watch us online. And want to encourage you to come out and be a part of our live services here at Dominion Life Worship Center on Sunday morning. We, we, we say this all the time. We want you to really uh, take this to heart and, and really... Uh, let, you know, give yourself to this here. That God is expecting you to be here, and so are we. God has provided a warm seat of welcome here for you at Dominion Life Worship Center. I want to encourage you to come out. Come on out. I know God is dealing with you. He's talking to you. He's dealing with you in dreams and visions. And he's encouraging you to come, come and be a part of the uh, teachings of the service here that he's provided for you at Dominion Life Worship Center. And if you're a member of a local church, we're not... Uh, encouraging you to come and, and leave your local church. But if you're not a member of a local church, uh, you, the Dominion Life Worship Center is an excellent church to become a member of, to be a, uh, and not so much a member, to, be, to learn to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Mm. Uh, we really focus on discipleship here at Dominion Life Worship Center. So I want to encourage you to, to, to do that. Amen. We're still talking about uh, the uh, uh, stages in our spiritual growth that God is requiring of us through his word to give uh, uh, give ourselves to, to learn it and to let it become a part of our life that we can grow and mature in, uh, in Christ, that we can, that we can be found uh, uh, sons of God, yes. sons yes. of God. So we're going to look at right now, last week we talked about, pray. yeah, oh, we're going to pray. Okay, let's pray. Mm -hmm. All right, let's pray. Father, we thank you right now for your wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding yes. that you've given us, Father God, that we can speak your word with accuracy, boldness, and courage. Thank so we thank you for it right you. now, Father God. We have the confidence of knowing, Father God, that your word that comes out of our mouth, Father God, is going to be planted into the hearts of people that are willing thank to receive you, your word. People that are hungry and thirsty for your presence in every area of their life. So we thank you for yes. it right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father God. All right. So we're talking about, uh, last week uh, we talked about and discussed about uh, justification. Uh, that's one of the stages of our spiritual development. Mm. Justification. It's, and it's the, that's the first stage mm. we've got to get developed and understood. Have, have to really grasp that, uh, that God, uh, once we repent, and we surrender our lives and our lifestyle over to Jesus Christ and, and allow him to be Lord of our lives. Mm -hmm. Then we walk in, the, then God wants to earnestly desire to know uh, um, about him justifying us, mm -hmm. the justification that he takes place, that he declares us to have in our lives mm -hmm. because of our obedient faith mm -hmm. uh, to Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we, we, we talked about justification last week. This week we're going to talk about uh, accurate biblical results of sanctification. Mm -hmm. so we're going to look at sanctification. And uh, this really, really helps us to be, understand what we talked about uh, for our former teaching. We're talking about being saints of God. Mm -hmm. uh, sanctification, it relates to that, being uh, sanctified, being sanctified. All right, so we're going to look at accurate biblical res results. And we're talking about results mm -hmm. of sanctification. Mm -hmm. You should, you, from, from sanctification, you should expect God's results mm -hmm. to be manifested in your life. Mm -hmm. So we're going to uh, give you the talk about the definition and the concept of sanctification. You want to read that? Amen. Sweetheart. Sanctification mm -hmm. is the process by which born again, mm -hmm. born again believers, believers mm -hmm. are set apart mm -hmm. for God mm -hmm. for the rest of from the rest of the, the world, world. Mm. or the process by which born again believers mm. are made holy. Yes. We progressively experience sanctification. Mm. That means it's an ongoing, mm. process. Right, right. ongoing process. This affects our obedience mm -hmm. to the word of God in our lives. Mm. It is the same as growing in the Lord. It's the That's same good. It's the same the as Lord. growing in the Lord. Amen. I like what you put in that. It, 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 is, it is a progressive yes, progressively experience it's mm -hmm. a progressive experience it right. means it 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 it, it, it it's continuous. continually going yeah. it's continuous right, yeah. sanctification right. It, again it becomes part of our lifestyle right, right, because right. that's powerful that's and powerful. and one thing sudard that and and what what how this process 
works is every time we hear and obey the word of God, the, the process of sanctification is taking place in our mm. lives. Because sanctification comes from the word mm -hmm. of God. It Amen. comes from us hearing the word of God mm -hmm. and us obeying the word of God. Every time you hear, you study, you, you give yourself to, to the word of God, you can expect to be sanctified mm -hmm. and do it, obey it. Mm -hmm. You can expect for sanctification to take place to be taking place in your life. So sanctification is, is after we hear the words, the process begins when we receive it. That's it, that, that's when it. We receive, yeah, it. we receive it, yeah, when we receive it, yeah. Yeah, and you begin, when we receive it, we begin, the Holy Spirit begins to process it. Mm -hmm. He begins to open up, the eye, open up our understanding, or the eyes of our understanding, mm -hmm. that we can clearly see God's will and purpose for our life is to live a life set apart. Because that's what that word sancti mm -hmm. sanctification, it, 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 it points us to God's desire to, uh, for us to live our life set apart mm -hmm. for him. Mm -hmm. For our, his purpose. His purpose. For his will. His will. Mm -hmm. His will. For his good pleasure. Yes, 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 yes. That's, that's good, his good pleasure. Amen. All right, amen. All right, now the foundation of scripture, we're going to be working on on that. You want me to read it? Yes. Okay. Go we're going to read, this is the foundation of scripture we're going to be working on uh, 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 about working, about allowing God to uh, work his uh, sanctification mm. in us. His Sanctification. It's first, Second Peter, mm -hmm. the third chapter, and the seventeenth through the eighteenth verse, mm -hmm. reading from the Amplified Version of the Bible. Then this is the Apostle Peter, and he's writing to the church. He's writing to the church, and he's really concerned about mm -hmm. the spiritual well-being, uh, maturity, the spiritual growth of the church. And he says this here: Therefore, let me warn you, beloved, knowing these things beforehand. Be on your guard so that you are not carried away by the error of unprincipled men, mm -hmm. unprincipled men who distort doctrine mm -hmm. and fall from your own steadfastness of mind, knowledge, truth, and faith. Amen. The 18th verse, but grow, but grow, but grow spiritually mm -hmm. mature, but grow spiritually mature in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. To him be glory, yes. honor, majesty, splendor, both now and to the day of eternity. Amen. Amen. Now this is, this is, the, this is Apostle Peter, Sudar, and he's writing to the church. He's very concerned yes, about the spiritual yes. well-being and growth of the church. And I believe that, that this is what uh, every uh, leader uh, every born again believer really should be concerned about mm -hmm. the spiritual well-being and growth of of every member of the body of Christ. Amen. We should be concerned about there should be no weak, feeble, confused member mm -hmm. existing in 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 the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, every member uh, is designed by God to help, support, to edify, and to build up one another. Every member of the body of Christ should be striving for the perfection. Of Christ in them, Amen. every member, Amen. every member. And, and this we, we, we need to uh, to allow the Holy Spirit to give us understanding mm -hmm. that when uh, these uh, men of God were writing these letters, mm -hmm. they were under the influence right. of the Holy right. Spirit. Mm -hmm. Being under the influence of the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit, they're writing the uh, the desire. The, uh, the writing to us the desire and revealing uh, the purpose right, right. of the church of the church of the church mm -hmm. they're writing the desire yes. and revealing the purpose of the church that's good this this is what King Jesus that's it. wants for the church mm -hmm. and this is what our father God wants mm. the church this this is their desire that's it that, that's that, it. that we grow spiritually mature that's it that's it that's and it. Uh, the uh, I like in, in there we, where we had progressively, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, that word progressively, Progressive, again, mm -hmm. that means it's an ongoing Going process. process. Uh, it, it begins in our spirit. Sanctification mm -hmm. begins in right, our spirit. Right, come on, that's good. It begins in our spirit, yes, but the yes. manifestation mm -hmm, is seen mm -hmm. in every area of our, our lives. lives yes. It's seen in our soul. That's, that's it's right. seen in the way that, uh, in our in our that, emotions. Yes, it's it's yes. seen in the way that we, uh, that we, uh, 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 the way that our intellect operates. That, that's right. The way that our mind thinks. It's seen in our will. Will, come on. 
Come on, that's it's good. seen in our will. Yeah. It starts in our spirit, mm -hmm. but it is manifested to every, every area, area of, of our, our life. life. Because uh, once it once it uh, once it's manifest in our soul, mm -hmm. then it's manifest manifested through our behavior that's good. That's and good. our actions. That's good. That's good. Because so that really, God has invested His authority, His authority in our spirit. Yes. And our born again yes. spirit, yes. our born again spirit, our born, our born again spirit carries the authority of yes. God's word yes. and His spirit, yes. it, and it, and it does. It impacts our our soul yes. and it impacts our body. Yes, and it, and 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 according to the word of God in Th First Thess First Thessalonians the fifth chapter and the twenty third verse. That, that God sees us as our spirit, soul, and body blameless. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Because of the impact mm -hmm. of sanctification Hallelujah. in our lives. Hallelujah. Because of, no, because of God's impact. Yes. God's, see, God is involved in our sanctification. Yes. And he's involved in it by, by we welcome him into it yes. by our faith yes. in Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. If yes. you, this is what God wants us to understand. When when we submit to the to the knowledge of what Jesus Christ mm -hmm. did for us, mm -hmm. it opens the door. It gives it gives the Father legal rights yes. to develop His Spirit of sanctification in us. Mm -hmm. That's good. It it, it does. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 No, okay. that's good. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's what we really want to uh, focus on and really, uh, and so we can enjoy uh, uh, God's spirit of sanctification. Yes. Peter is warning us to be mindful of the people who teach a distorted doctrine of God's word. And mm -hmm. we, we may pick that up next week because this is, this is what's going on in the church today. We might, you know, a lot of people don't want to say what's going on, but uh, if you read your Bible, you know what's going on. You study the scripture, you know what's going on in the church, and you know what's going on in the world. Yeah. And there is a difference. There is a difference. There's a dividing line between what's go what God desired to go on in the church yes. and what Satan desires to go on in the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. God desire is for the church to invade the world, mm -hmm. to present the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world, to not to compromise to the world standards and allow the world standards to come and commingle in the church, mm -hmm. in the mindset of born again believers. Mm -hmm. We're different. We, 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 are, we are light and the world is in darkness. Mm -hmm. They're governed by the spirit of darkness, the kingdom of darkness, mm -hmm. the kingdom of light, which sanctifies us. We can see ourselves the way God sees us. Amen. 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 So I want to encourage you to uh, really, uh, Study that scripture. This is, you know, when we're giving you these scriptures, we, we really encourage you to really study, go back and study these scriptures and allow the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. to open. Ask him. Yes, yes. He'll do it. Yes, Ask him. Yes. He, he's our helper. He's our counselor. He's our teacher. He's our teacher. Hallelujah. Our comforter. Yes. You know, when we say, when, you know, because it, it's, it's sometimes it, uh, we, if we try to do this sanctification, live out this life of sanctification on our own, it's impossible. We can't do it. Mm -hmm. But with the help of the, of the word of God and the Holy Spirit, it can be accomplished. Hallelujah. We can live a sanctified life, a life that's set, up, set apart and dedicated to the Father's will and purpose in our life. Hallelujah. We can do it. Hallelujah. We just have to trust him for it. Amen. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you to really study these scriptures and, and, yes. and let this get into your spirit and understand what God has for you. Amen. I want to let you know that we love you. We're praying for you. We yes. believe in God's best to be manifested in every area of your life. We're going to close out with prayer and we want you to, to lock in and grasp this prayer that we're going to pray with you. Join us in it. The Holy Spirit is there with you right now. Father, we thank you right now yes, yes. for your spirit of sanctification thank you, Father. that's progressively setting us upon yes, yes. to be obedient to your will and your purpose thank you, in our life. We submit ourselves to allowing the life of Christ yes, yes. to live in us and through us. We deeply desire, Father God, to be called sons of God, mature, obedient, sanctified sons of God. We thank you for it right now. Thank you. We give you the praise, the glory, and honor for it in Jesus' 
matchless and wonderful name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, as we say all the time here at Dominion Life Worship Center, Jesus is Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us and allowing the seed of the word of God to strengthen and encourage you. Our heart's desire is to equip you with the word of God so that you will successfully deal with every challenge that comes up against you in your life in Christ. We love you. And remember, Jesus is Lord. We look forward to seeing you next time here on Faith in Christ Network.